Yeah, yeah. What's going on with y'all, man? In the post podcast, your boy, man, Chase Bellis. You man, how you shot? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's we just ain't. We just ain't together on this one today. We ain't together, but we together that we feel me. Like At the end of the day, man, a lot of y'all gonna end up trying to tap in if y'all in the group. Y'all can tap in on live, you know what I'm saying, whatever the case may be. But as far as everybody else, y'all gonna get it probably after we done. Y'all gonna get it like 10, 30, 11. I ain't gonna hold it. Yeah. But y'all gonna get it, though. Y'all gonna get it. Then we gonna read, y'all gonna read post shit tonight, too. So y'all gonna get that shit. For sure. So you already know what's oh, going on. Oh, you watch it. We, we get the comments automatically, you know what I'm saying? We... We in here tonight. Okay. I'm going I'm to I'm share a little bit. You go ahead and drop, drop that music in the background. You know what I'm saying? We all heard it. I'm going to try to share a little bit for these days. We cool it at this time, man. It's cool time. Oh, I can still share it. Oh, shit. It's over. Hold on. No, 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 Maybe I what did it look like on your head? Hold on, I got one more thing about that. What did it look like on your head? Hold on. Bro, this shit crazy. Nigga, I already got motherfucker YouTube premium no more, man. Maybe you have a motherfucker. Motherfucker. They got a little bow wow on this bitch. Come on, man. Here they come with this this fast and furious non shit, bro. This shit crazy, bro. They let a little bow wow jump in it? Yeah, got a little bow wow, <laughs> Tokyo juice bow wow in the bitch, man. I'm gonna put him on a dirt bike or something. Yeah, it's like a little, it's like a little ad of shit for the little jump. Um, but shit, I might play. You want to play one more jump, or we can try to get into this shit. It don't really matter. Well, I, I just, you know, what I'm saying, I share, I'll share whatever you ready. You know what I'm saying? All right, well, shit. Let's just let's just let them know what we doing. Hold on, what the fuck? Are these messages and shit. Hold on, what the fuck? Are Oh, that's you doing that shit. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, bro. Play a little one more little jump, then we gonna get into the shit. I already got myself playing wrong and whatnot. We ain't gonna get into this. Oh, okay. I'm working on another one. I just want to play this song. Is it after this song? It's after this song. I'm trying to. I see you people there. What's up? Drop a comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. What's up? We in the building. What's up? I'm saying? Go. I don't know. This might be a two a day situation. Hold on. What the fuck? Nigga, come and throw a little bit. Hold on. Oh, 
No limits. DJ Daddy Cat, get on the mix. So we'll go set. This is for the big dogs. Let dog you sit down. My dog keep big rounds. So me and my lucky like you ice cream. I love a man one. I'm a big fan. I keep cash in my wings. Cause my dog got potential. Bad bitch independent. Why would I can't afford her? Money getting larger in the till I'm getting older. I just put a car in her car and I go tall. Give me a dog at ATL. You see my big dog. Me and Ricky move back when you do the kids. Hold on. This is what I got to do. I'm tripping. Hold on. 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 Cause it's different. Like I was sending the first link. It was like for them to join in the room, but it's like yeah. I had to go in the live to make them. You know what I'm saying? Look at the live for shit. Get them to right. share. All right, man. You already know what's going on, man. It's your boy Chase Bettis, man. Low key and OG and paraphernalia in these videos. My boy Hollywood's chop, man. Holly D niggas, man. What's good? Oh, this one we'll do for y'all. For y'all. Hold on, Chase. Let me take this for a minute. Hey, y'all, like, share, is a bell, notification. You know what I'm saying? We'll let y'all know when we go on. If y'all follow us, go on the page. We've done some new things. There's some quizzes on there. Hit all the buttons. Come fuck with us all the way because we're trying to do a little bit of everything. And when I'm going to hit y'all with this quiz in the post quiz to let you know if you really watch, and there's going to be questions and answers that only me and Chase know. So if you can figure them out, you know what I'm saying? We 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 got some t-shirts for y'all. Come fuck with what us. We all that shit. Right out of they watching the shit. They hear what niggas said. Nigga, what you mean? Nigga, they gotta figure it out and all that shit. Nigga, what you mean? <laughs> you know, sometimes some niggas just be listening, but they don't be here. I mean, yeah. I mean that. I mean that's true facts. That's true facts. You right. know, man. First and foremost, you know, we kind of just like way say the week, but you know these these past few weeks just been a blur, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, but we still yeah. out here. We still put. You know what I'm saying? Law live BC forever. You feel me? Law live BC. Right. And you know what I'm saying? I finally then, you know what I'm saying? got into the sports shit. So I got some takes. You know what I'm saying? Last week I fell back. Shout out to Shaquille, um, Devin. Shout out to Deacon holding it down. Shout out to everybody who came through 85th. You know what I'm saying? Came through 85th last week. You know what I'm saying? Respect to y'all. Y'all keep, you know what I'm saying? Supporting y'all. Keep watching. Y'all keep yeah. commenting. Oh, 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 you know, for the um, record, for the record, it was, it was more people there than, than the show, but you know, it's, that's a real uh, urban area, and there's people who don't want to necessarily. Everybody don't want to be on no camera, bro. Like, respect. They don't want to be on no right. camera. That's right. what I'm saying. Like, we got to get to the point where we get that audio popping, too, so I think it's going to be more freely. I mean, people will be more freely to talk. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Real for real. But we're going to get straight to it. All right, first things first. Um, we're going to get to this NBA.
or this exhibition? A hundred million? Not? I why guess not? that's why niggas be. I guess that's why the look. I guess that's why the nigga trip with the white boy knocked his hat off and shit. If he getting a hundred million, I trip too, nigga. You ain't getting no money, nigga. You lucky, nigga. I'm, I'm putting you on, nigga. What's wrong with you? They had, they got all the memes floating on Mayweather all day today. Like this boy, money Mayweather. Listen here. Like I told my cat at the job, and I'm gonna tell you this right here on the show. My my dude at the job got a bet with my other cat talk about some. You know what I mean? Dude got money that 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 Logan Paul is gonna end up winning the way how fishy this shit look, right? And I told that nigga, he better one of my other OGs and shit. I told that nigga, I said, look, if that nigga win, that white boy beat Floyd Mayweather, I'll pay it, nigga. I will pay it out <laughs> my pocket, nigga. Like, is you serious, bro? Like, this shit is stupid. Like, this twenty, this ever since twenty twenty, this shit weird. Like, this shit weird, man. We 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 watching weird shit. Now, come on, man. You got Nate Robinson, non-boxing ass, fighting another non-boxing ass nigga. He get knocked out. Now we got to watch Floyd Mayweather versus uh, Logan. What? For the bag. Man, listen, man. If, if Floyd Mayweather getting 100,000, 100 million, my bad. If he getting 100 million for this fight, you know that goddamn shit about to be like damn near 80 to to $100 on pay-per-view. And guess what? Paul, suck my dick. I'm not paying that. I'm not, not to see that. Yeah, me up. Not to see that. Not to see that. Like at the end of the day, I know it's a pandemic, man. But I I'd, ra- I'd like, rather wait to see what's gonna happen with, with, with Tay and when Tay next fight is before I care about this. I'm cool. I'm, man, this, this these niggas is clowns as far as I'm concerned. A lot of these new boxers ain't really worth watching. Not their career. They just had good fights. You know what I'm saying? But ain't but this but this situation right here is clownish though. This is a clownish why? thing. This I mean, is why, hey, look, I, I could never knock Floyd Mayweather for how he worked his hand, his record, his hustle, but he he his fight's been for the money for real. Last and two this, fights been clown shit. Conor McGregor and this clown shit. For the money. Clown, but it's clown shit. It, it don't matter if it's for the money or not. This shit clown shit. This shit, this shit, this shit circus. This shit motherfucking um Universe Soul Circus clown shit. Like, this shit clown. Listen, we living in the... Like, seriously, in the- man. Like, dude, the dude, Logan Paul, he had, like, a, two fights, bro. Look, look. It ain't, we live in an age where there ain't no more this is my team type of uh, players. It ain't no more of those I can do this shit by myself. I don't need... I can do this shit by myself, ass niggas. It's a bunch of... You uh, sure about that? You I mean, sure about a- that? It's a couple that's still trying to do it by themselves, but they're not looking good. They Kyrie trying. Kyrie looking good all the time, and he be trying to do that shit by himself, no matter what team he on. Boston, Cleveland, New Jersey, I mean Brooklyn. My bad. It don't matter. Kyrie do it versus, all the time. Versus all these, I want to join somebody. Let's get with somebody. Let's put a team together. Culture, almost all of the NBA and all the sports like that now. So what do that got to do? With Floyd Mayweather fighting the clown ass white boy for the bread. For the likes, nigga, for the bread. He's doing it for the man, likes. Listen here, ain't listen no here. More, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go, no, I'm gonna no, tell you this one time, one time only. He ain't standing Floyd on the Mayweather, culture of boxing listen, no more. Get your money, bro. Get your money. I don't know if you losing. I don't know if you off. I don't know what's going on, Floyd Mayweather. All I know is get your money. But I will not be purchasing that shit. I will be watching highlights on IG like the rest of us, nigga. You got me. I, ain't met, I mean. I ain't mad at him about getting the bag. I'm not paying for it. I'm not getting I'm my. Not I'm it. not getting my fire. My fire stick jail broke to watch it. No, I'm not doing none of that. None of that it's shit. It's over. It's ov. Ain't nobody trying to watch that shit. Like no. what, what? Like what is they really like? What? Like what is really to that shit? You know what I'm saying? And it's another thing that too. Bag. That's another thing that's that's trippy. You want to know what else is trippy? Let's just go what? straight into this shit too. We gonna get to this NBA shit, but let's just go straight into this shit too. You Browns fans, I love the Browns, just like a lot of y'all love the Browns. Y'all Browns fans sicken me sometimes. I'm sick by the type of shit I listen to. Six, three months ago, everybody and their mama was talking about, oh, Deshaun Watson would have get traded. The Browns should get Deshaun Watson. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that young boy, Baker Cook. I know everybody got their gripes about Baker. I got my gripes about Baker, right? But let him cook. 
And that's what I said the first time. So now here we come again. Aaron Rodgers to the Browns. Is you kidding me? Is you kidding me? I don't want Aaron Rodgers on no damn Browns. We already got Odell Beckham. I don't need two divas on the team. I, I just take one. Thank you. I don't need two. I don't need two. Sorry, Aaron Rodgers is a is a great quarterback. Is he a top five quarterback of all time? No. 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 But this where but this is where my gripe is. This is why I'm upset with Browns fans, right? Baker been with the Browns three seasons, right? Yeah. Okay. He been with the Browns three seasons. He went eleven and five last year. He was seven and nine. It came in at the end of the season, his first year, and won six games, right? 11 plus 7 is 17. 17 plus, like, let's give him six. 17 plus 6 is 23, right? Before well, Baker Mayfield came years. to the Browns, before, Megan, before Baker Mayfield was, was drafted by the Browns, three years, it, like, the past three years before he got drafted, can you, do you think the Browns got close to 23 wins? It takes six years. It takes six years before that to add up for them wins. Man, listen here, bro. Them niggas went 0-16, 1-15, and, <laughs> and motherfucking 4-12 the three years before Baker got here. Like, come on, bro. Like, that's the thing, man. Like, it, it's win now because they got young players. I ain't going to say it ain't win now for the Browns. They need to win now. Or I respect it. But at the yeah. end of the day, let's just build some continuity. Like, that's the one thing about the Browns they ain't never had. They had no continuity. You change the damn Definitely. quarterback and the coach every year. How you got continuity? And we finally looking good. Like at the end of the day, the Browns defense is looking stellar. If they keep it together like it is, that Baker Mayfield gets better, which he should. Yeah, this he is should. Just, this is the first time. This is the first time he's going back into a new season with the same coach and the same and the same offensive coordinator, the same defensive coordinator, and the same quarterback coach, and ain't switching for, on him. He'd have had three, or he'd have had three. No, no, not three. He'd have had four different head coaches since his rookie year. Get this nigga up. Get this boy a break. Aaron Rodgers. On the, other, on the Aaron flip Rodgers side. Have been to two back-to-back -back NFC championship games this year and last year. He did not look good in any of them. Only thing I will give him, the, the first two losses, Against against when he lost after he won the Super Bowl when he won the first NFC Championship game after he won the Super Bowl, the last two times he ran into Seattle and, the, and Seattle was like was Seattle cooking. leaving the ball. That's that's a top five defense of all time. So I can't really knock him for that, but I'll knock him. I'll knock him for losing to the Falcons though in the NFC Championship game. I'll knock him for that. You Aaron Rodgers, how you losing to um um fucking. My nigga, Matty Ice, even though they was balling. But how you losing to Matty Ice? You, you Aaron Rodgers. You think Tom Brady going to lose to Matty Ice? Oh, but he, no, he didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't. He was down 28-7, bro. He was That's down 28-7 to Matty Ice. And what, and, what, and, what, and what the GOAT do? I'm telling you, your boy, man. Your boy Aaron, Rodgers Aaron Rodgers ain't better than Peyton Manning, man. Stop playing with me. No, he's not. Period. But at the end of the day, like a, a quarterback with his stature and the and the way that we have our team set up, it probably would work. But you're gonna have to trade too much. You're gonna have to give up something that that at the end of the day you ain't gonna be able to get back. You feel me? And he brings he, he brings too much. Yeah. He brings too much unnecessary, you know what I'm saying? That that I don't think he's gonna bring it unnecessary. I just feel like at this point, don't don't fuck up what we got going on. We we've been constantly right. constantly building. Like just I just don't need that to happen. You feel me? Like LeBron it's James hard. is an exception to the rule. I'm not trying to he is an exception to the rule. It's an exception where uh, a Hall of Fame player gets drafted to quote unquote his home team. Which is not his home team, but it, it kinda is, but it's not. Yeah. You feel me? That just be like if Cleveland didn't have the professional NBA team and the NBA team was at Columbus and it was named the Columbus Cavs and he got drafted to that. It's the same type yeah. of thing. Like I was watching ESPN the other day.
and motherfucking Molly Karam on first take talk about he from Cleveland. Talk about LeBron. I bust out laughing like these bitches is stupid. You know that nigga ain't from no damn Cleveland. I mean, outside outside of Ohio, they don't shit. Outside of probably Columbus and Cleveland, don't nobody know where the fuck Akron at. They don't no Akron exists. That shit corny. That's only reason they know at only yeah, reason they, they know they, you go to Wikipedia. You go to Wikipedia and know that motherfucker wasn't born in no Cleveland. Like fuck out of here with that shit. <laughs> like, come on, man. Maybe we try to be funny. We try to shit on the city. I don't like that shit, to be quite honest. But I mean it is what it is. We got the red 2016. Hopefully we get to the Super Bowl 2021. For real. But I mean, right now, Brown selling, like I said, last, like I said two weeks ago when I was on the show, I'm gonna say it again. AFC championship game. Let's get better than we did was last year. Yeah. yeah. We lost a game of the AFC Championship game. Let's get to there. And then let the cars fall where they may. I, I think I, I got faith in the Browns that can get to the Super Bowl. But they got to at least get to an AFC Championship game first before they get to the Super Bowl, right? Yeah. And now that they're going to have a target on their back. What? They're going to have a target, target on their back. I mean, just the fact that they team Tom. is they, – they team – their team is looking better just from the, the what they done put together. It's looking better. But People, how they going to have they a target did, on their back is what I'm trying to find out. When you do better, other teams don't want you to do better. We want to. We That's the team they want to put on their list. We want to beat them. We want to beat them this year. Listen, man. Listen, man. The Browns was about 10 and 5 or, or 10 and 6. I did it with 10 and 5 at the time, right? Before they played the Steelers at the end of the year. Juju. Juju came out and said the Browns are just the Browns. After they were 10 and 5. Let's let that sink in. Let that sink in. Browns was over 500 by five, six games, which is damn near a, a damn near a one or two seed in the NFL. And the Steelers just look at them like, man, they're just the Browns. Like everybody's gonna look at them like that. Until they win something, until they get to that Super Bowl, until they surprise motherfuckers. I don't think they really did it last year, but they on the rise. They're knocking on the door. Because even I told you last year, because even I told you last year going into the season and the way the Browns team was set up last year, I told you the the schedule favors the Browns to have a good year. And they did that shit. Yeah. So now let's see what happens the next year. You feel me? The next year teams is trying to stop that. That's the team we need to make sure don't get on. They, you say they're knocking at the door. What about the teams that been trying to knock at the door and hurry these motherfucking Browns will come get, get in before we do? Fuck that. Listen, man, this is what I'll tell you, right? What other team besides the Browns, no, like, listen, don't name the Chiefs, the Bills. The Ravens, or um, that's it. What other team been knocking on the door for the past three years or two years? Not the, not the Las not the Las Vegas Raiders, not the Las Vegas Raiders, not the Chargers. Who, who, who? If Peyton, Man- if if I said Peyton, if Aaron Rodgers do the right thing, and it's the right thing for Aaron Rodgers, by the way, since we started off like this, Aaron Rodgers, get your ass to Denver. And do what them old niggas did, get you another ring. You better go ahead. You better go ahead. Because we were talking about this a couple days ago when I called you. Like, yeah. Peyton Manning had a bad neck. Came to Denver and threw 50 touchdowns the first season he was there with a good defense around him. Threw 50 touchdowns. Yeah. I think Peyton Manning is better than Aaron Rodgers, but Aaron Rodgers has a better arm than Peyton Manning. That is a fact. That is not no fiction. You put a good defense around him, a couple of pieces that he can that he can respect and get accoladed. Aaron Rodgers, the problem with Aaron Rodgers and Green Bay is that Aaron Rodgers feel like he should be treated like Todd Brady, but niggas look at him like you don't got the accolades to be treated like Todd Brady. <laughs> That's what the- maybe he wanted to be like he, he felt that he should have been treated like Brett Favre. But Come on, man. He was he was like Brett Favre was bad as fuck every time he waved me that building to see that nigga. He was like, I, I gotta work with my replacement. He was working with that nigga. And then nigga, and then you know what I'm saying? The year where they act like they were to pay the nigga, 
boom, that nigga with the Super Bowl, that nigga go to Minnesota, they're like, wait, put a hit out on that nigga. If they put yeah. a hit out on that nigga, that nigga been in the Super Bowl that year. Like, you got to be fucked up. Like, come on, man. Pay, like, Brett Favre is a Hall of Fame quarterback. Let's just keep it a buck. He's a Hall of Fame quarterback because he's been proven. Yeah. He, he he's put been, everything. He put everything it's not, it's not out situations there. situations where you can say it's his team. I'm tired of everybody blaming the, the team for a lot of shit when, at the end of the day, Aaron Rodgers' numbers do not be looking stellar in these losses in the NFC Championship games. It don't. I mean, but it's hard. You can't all the blame because we don't have receivers and all this shit. Like, I mean, the 49ers Green Bay? Good defense. In Green Bay, he looked good. His numbers look real good. 49ers in Green Bay. had a good defense 2020 and 2021. But ain't no way in hell. No, 2019 and 2020. I'm sorry. 2019 and 2020, the 49ers had a great defense. But ain't no top 10 all time. I'm like, come on, man. You can beat them niggas. I ain't trying to hear that. Yeah. I mean, it was. I ain't trying to hear that. You feel me? So we're going to leave it at that. Aaron Rodgers, man. Y'all, y'all niggas, uh, Sasha, whatever the fuck y'all niggas that. Hey, man. Hey, hey, Dorsey. Hey, chill the fuck out. Just see if Baker go do it. And if Baker choke, then get him out of here. Then we'll figure out what's next. But until then, ride that nigga out his last year. Fuck it. I thought we were still on the NBA, but you got caught up in Aaron Rodgers, nigga. No, we ain't even touch the NBA. Yet. We about to touch it now. Okay, first things first. Let's talk about these Brooklyn Nets. We're going to talk about these Lakers. Let's talk about these Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn Nets played. It was a double header last night. Brooklyn Nets, Mavericks. And it was the Lakers, Clippers. <coughs> Clippers. Matter of fact, you know what? You know what? Fuck Kyrie and them niggas right now. Let's get into this shit. Now, this is the first time you will ever hear me say this. This is the first time I've ever said this on this show. So I just want you to, I just want you to embrace this. I want everybody who watches this later on or watching it right now, just embrace what I'm about to say. I am concerned for LeBron James. Why? I am concerned. You think he about to go into playoff mode? Listen here, man. Stop, stop, stop fucking with me, man. <laughs> because I already did it. No, 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 no. Activate it. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh shit. <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> the weed that caught me so this nigga got me on some shit. All right, all right, all right, say that's all right, fuck it, fuck it. Now, that shit was some bullshit. 2019. Let's just call it out there. I'm gonna call it out there it was a bullshit. You had one of your first major injuries you ever had in your career. You talk about playoff mode activated, da 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 da. Boom. You come out dud. It's kind of a dud because you're forcing shit. So it's a dud, right? This time around, he's out. Um, he, he's posted shit. A storm is coming. He posted a picture with him, Andre Drummond, and AD, the locks. Like the locks, the locks of the NBA type shit. You feel me? I pay attention to this shit. So LeBron comes back prematurely. In my eyes. He came back prematurely. I big has been on my ass about this shit since LeBron went down. I'm telling niggas LeBron gonna come back Cinco de Mayo a, a game before the game with y'all. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he's gonna say, you know what? Fuck it. We're gonna come out and get these clippers, show these clippers what it do. You feel me? But he didn't do that. He came earlier that Friday before y'all went on live. Saturday, and that was like the first day that you know. What I'm saying I got the I got the note and shit, so I'm like, let me see, let me see the highlights. They played the net, they played the um the Kings. They lost. He he missed the game winner. I'm like, let me just see the, the highlights. I'm watching the highlights, and I'm just looking at the game, and I'm looking at LeBron and how he's moving. I'm like, uh, uh-uh. this ain't it. He, he could have waited. Then he ain't ready. It ain't look like he was ready. Like I'm a LeBron James fan. I've been watching LeBron James faithfully for it. 17 going on 18 years. I know when LeBron is LeBron and when he's compromised. LeBron came back compromised. And that's why I'm concerned. Because what's going to happen is, let's just call it a, let's call it a Spanish man. If the Lakers go to the play-in, 
there's going to be a different type of urgency that LeBron James is going to feel, is going to go through that he probably never felt in his career. And it's unwarranted and it's unnecessary. So that's why he'll go out and gripe about these playing games when, let's just be clear, the Lakers are right now, they're, tw they're 37 to 29. The Blazers are 37 and 29. That's what? Eight games over 500? Niggas been wilding about the Warriors and they been looking at Steph Curry's been shooting this fuck out the three. There are 500. There are 33 and 33. The Memphis Grizzlies that are nine, they're 33 and 34. Your old Spurs, your old team, now that Kawhi ain't there, um, TD ain't there, Tony Parker, Ginobili, Bruce Bourne, all them niggas that you fucked with when they was there, ain't there no more. You just got the Rose in this shit. Them niggas is 31 and 35, bruh. Let's be real. I understand why LeBron and Luca and them niggas will complain about a play-in when at the end of the day you look at it. At this after seven in the West, everybody is barely 500 or below. After like six in the East, it's the same way. Teams work hard every day to have winning records, to have successful seasons. So you telling me a motherfucker that won eight games over five, hey, no matter who it is, well, it's not just the Lakers, it's not just LeBron, but it's just ironic that LeBron is in this situation when the pressure is on low-key. It's not really, I'm going to be honest with you, I, don't, I think the pressure is on that nigga to repeat low-key. Even though the real pressure is on Yo, boy. So let me just finish what I'm saying about the Lakers. I'm going to get on your boy, though. I'm going to get on your Because <laughs> I watched that game yesterday. I'm going to get on your nigga a little bit. I'm telling you, I'm going off on niggas today. I'm going to get in on your nigga. I'm going in on my nigga right now. Right? I'm going in on my guy right now. I'm going to go in on your guy in a second. But I'm going in on my guy right now. Like, LeBron got to take his time and coming back. They only got four games left. Right? I think they play the Knicks and they play the Suns. LeBron probably will come back by the Suns. They talking about that Sunday. To me, that may be premature. I, I need him to come back against the Knicks on Tuesday. That'll be a better test for LeBron than the Suns. To me, LeBron just got to be healthy. Not really healthy, healthy, like 100%. If LeBron is 90%, they should get to the finals. If he's anything under that, I don't know who he's going to lose to. If he's 85%, I don't think he loses to the Clippers. And they smacked him yesterday. They smacked him. Paul George ain't going to be Paul George, bro. It's not going to happen. I feel it in the air. It's too much hype. Niggas is too hype. Motherfuckers too hype. Everybody talk about Playoff P already. All these shows. Any show I watch, Playoff P. Playoff P. I'm like, what? It's like Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp. Be the niggas like, wait a minute. He has been choking, so we got to see. But other than that, Playoff P. Playoff P. The boy Kawhi ain't do shit yesterday. They triple team the fuck out that nigga. And he couldn't do shit. He only had, they talk about he passed the ball off. Dude only had five assists. How many, how many times he passed it? He had five assists in 40 minutes. How many times that nigga passed it, bro? I just, I just need to know that. How many times he passed it? <laughs> like, fuck out here, man. Niggas be hyped over five, six assists and shit. Well, my nigga LeBron had seven, eight. And you know he passed it, but he still gonna have 40. That nigga had 15. They was triple teaming the fuck out of Kawhi. But we gonna get it on these Lakers too, like we get it, or we get it. Kawhi Leonard, I'm telling you, everybody talk about this Rondo and and Nicholas Batoon and motherfucking um Serge Ibaka, Demarcus Cousins. It's on Kawhi and Paul George if they go win the championship. This shit is wide open, especially I mean, with this the Especially with the injuries with my niggas. And I didn't even get into AD yet. Like, I'm, like I'm, I was talking about your nigga that I was going to slide on AD. Then we was going to slide on Kyrie. Then we, you know what I'm saying? We try to, we ski it, though. Shout out to your thug. We on some ski shit right now. We on a ski trip. We on ski through these niggas. For real. Now, them niggas ought to show up. The pressure on. Now, the Lakers could slide into the sixth seed, right? So, 
this is what I need to hear from you. How would you feel about a Clippers Lakers first round playoff matchup? I really don't want to see that. And why not? Playoff P. That's it, he. The pressure hit him at the at the beginning. Damn, that nigga playoff P gonna be playing the first round of the finals. Right, right. <laughs> let him get a couple games. Let him, let him shake a little of that shit off or something. Cause I ain't never seen playoff P, nigga. Hey, real talk though, but we did though. When? Before he was playoff P. Before, after he named this, before he named himself playoff P. When he was a pacer. Oh, oh, those two years when them niggas went back to back, Eastern right. Conference Finals. Oh, no, 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 don't play with that nigga, Paul. That nigga. I mean, <laughs> hey, that nigga was banging on niggas. Hey, like, listen here. That nigga Paul George. See, the difference between Paul George and, like, Jimmy Butler when they first came up, Paul George is a little bit more athletic than Jimmy Butler, and he had a little better jumper than Jimmy Butler. But their defense level was the same. Yeah. Jimmy Butler played D still the ball go to the rack. He could get to the rack a little bit more, a little bit better, a little bit more aggressive than um, – then what's the nigga we talking about right now? Paul George. But – Paul George is explosive. Paul George got athleticism. Paul George got hops. Yeah. And he got he had a nice jumper. Oh he you feel when me? he played when he played with the Pacers before the meltdown. And what I would say is that that team melted down when West just couldn't take no more LeBron. He just couldn't take the abuse no more. Man, so, like, so, man, listen, 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 listen. Let's, let's get this out the way. You really think that those Pacers are going to beat fucking D-Wade, LeBron, and Chris Bosh in the playoff series? You really think that? I mean, anything possible. What I'm just saying is you, you clearly no, know no, what no, 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 what the what I'm telling oh, you is right. have you seen have you seen So it's not no with, breakdown though. I don't think it's a breakdown. I don't think it's some, a breakdown. You can't say that's a breakdown of Paul George then. Or any of them niggas. Cause come on, man. At the end of the day, I'll tell you this. Roy Hibber was already fishy. He was been fishy in the playoffs the past three years. Daddy Granger was fishy too. All these niggas had fishy players who ain't gonna really step up. They had others that's trash. Like the Lakers, for real. My Tres Hero, Venice Schroeder, I fuck with. I was talking about Andre Drummond and shit, but now he's on the team, and I'm just start looking at the nigga, and I'm just like, man, hopefully he gets together. But, bro, I, I don't got no faith. Here's with the Cavs, nigga, shooting threes. I just remember a couple months ago that nigga was shooting threes, and I'm like, man, who the, what the fuck is wrong with dude? Just a few months ago, man. That's what the league want him to do is shoot three. Man, I'm cool, man. Listen, I want my nigga to get five, though. I ain't going to fake. I want my nigga to get five, but... I don't know. This shit started to get fishy. It started to get fishy for him to get the five. It's looking a little fishy. I don't know if he could get the five, but I'm rooting for him to get the five. But it's looking fishy, right? Sun, I don't think he sun. will lose to the Suns. I don't think LeBron will lose to the Suns or the Jazz in the first round. I'm out here saying that. I don't give a fuck about Donovan Mitchell, Devin Booker, Chris Paul. I don't give a fuck about none of them niggas on none of them tees, even though I like a lot of them niggas. Shout out to my nigga JC, Jordan Clarkson used to be with the Cavs. I, I, he was with the Lakers, too. That nigga's a baller. I fuck with him, but I don't give a fuck about none of them. LeBron, like, 85 90%, he beating up. Easy. If they slide to the play-in and got to be the 7 or 8 seed. At the end of the day, the Clippers, this is this is how – you want to know what's so crazy? This, they're all right. This is it. And then we're going to get to Kyrie. But this is what I'm going to tell you. How the Clippers address or how they attack these last four games as far as seeding, it's going to show me everything I need to know. It's going to show me everything I need to know. If they avoid the Lakers, if they avoid the, if they try to avoid the Lakers by sitting niggas and doing all this shit, if they try to avoid the Lakers, they're not going to beat the Lakers. That is the best. At this point, I will tell you this. If I'm a betting man and the Clippers and the Lakers are playing the first round, the only way the Clippers is going to beat the Lakers in the first round 
is that they just punched them in the mouth and just like, fuck y'all. Y'all fucked up. Y'all injured. Y'all think y'all big, but y'all not. That's the only way it's going to happen. But guess what? Neither one of your domain niggas got that mentality to do it. Rondo do, but Rondo was Rondo. Rondo was Rondo. Like, I'm going to knock on wood for real because I really want to see this shit. I don't want nothing to happen to Rondo. Even though around, even though, you know what I'm saying, it's like clockwork with some of this shit. It just comes right on time type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, right, like certain times, like right when that team about to push forward to the next level, boom, we get injured. Like, the Lakers wanted that nigga Rondo to come back. That nigga Rondo didn't come back in the playoffs to like the second series. End of the first series, like, come on, man. He missed the whole games. He missed the whole fucking playoff series. Like, come on, man. They was lucky to get that nigga back. That's what I'm saying. Like, this shit is crazy. Shit fishy. Now, let's slide to your niggas, though. Now, let's slide to these other niggas. Not your niggas, but these other niggas. Hey, listen, you want to know what's so crazy? Damn. Listen. What's the difference between KD and Westbrook and KD and Kyrie? Is it a difference, really? And I think it is, though. But I'm going to ask you, is it a difference, you think? Uh, yeah, I mean, because Kyrie... Has a little more willingness to willingness to give up the ball, and he not a head catch. Do we? I'm talking about he will. But do we? But do we? You said Kyrie is less is less likely okay, to what up? is less. You just said Kyrie Irving is less likely to ball hog the ball, and I'm saying uh, why would you feel uh, like that? What, what I mean, willingness to give up the ball is he if he see an opportunity to. To get a point like a dish real quick, he'd go for that versus your boy's still gonna try to get the ball. He passed when he forced. He passed when he is forced. That's time that's how he get all them goddamn assists. He ain't coming down setting up no plays, none of that shit. He ain't setting up shit. But this is why I think it's a difference. But this is why I think it ain't no difference when you think about it. Let's think about this. KD was griping about Russell Westbrook not passing the ball. Some of these games that we're talking about that they lost in the playoffs, KD just shot close to 20 shots in the game. And he going like 5 for 20, 6 for 20. That's on Russ. Same thing you doing, KD, same thing you doing Kyrie. And the thing that's the difference is with the Thunder, the defense, Russ, Russ was on it on the defense. Kyrie plays none. But Kyrie, it, it, it gets in cook mode. He's not as willing of a passer as you may think. He never really was that willing of a passer in Cleveland. Just remember him on a lot of his one-on-ones. He would take a nigga, he would break him down and go to the rack or bring him down to a little jumper or pass it off to a nigga. Nigga pass it off back to him. He shoots three. Like, the shit predictable. <coughs> the Nets, the Nets, as crazy as it sounds, Nets only going far as James Hart taking Ain't that some shit to say? Ain't that some shit to say? But that's real. But it's real, that, though. That might stall on the freeway, bro. What? That might stall on the freeway. You never know. But I'm telling you, like, they got a lot of talent on that team. They're going to play no defense. Nigga, Blake Griffith was checking Luka Doncic last night. <laughs> that nigga Blake Griffin. Hey, that nigga, hey, listen, hey, listen, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. My nigga Blake Griffin had four points and three rebounds, right? He had a little dunk. But that nigga look at him on four threes on the nigga. Went to the rack on the nigga. That nigga just scored about 15, 20 points on that nigga alone. That nigga look at like 40 on the nigga. Kyrie had like 48. KD had 20. But they're weak down low. Steve Nash, to me, mm, he ain't Kerr, bro. I'm sorry. 
and, and, and this is what I mean, though, right? Not trying to, you know what I'm saying, discriminate or whatever you want to call it, but this is the peep me, peep, just peep me out, peep me out. This is the, Steve Kerr was on the Bulls with Michael Jordan, right? Mm -hmm. Then later on in his career, he was on the Spurs with Greg Popovich, right? Yeah. Two great basketball minds, championship minds, right? Two. Michael Jordan, Phil Jackson, Greg Popovich. Steve Nash. Mike D'Antoni? Just think about my dad Tony's track record in the playoffs and what his teams do in the playoffs. Mike Dan Tony, let's just break it down. Everybody talk about this net shit. And, and really, I was caught in the moment one time when the niggas on the court together, the niggas, I'm just like, man, this shit, I don't know how you gonna stop this shit. But then once I start thinking about it, I'm like, but it's Mike Dan Tony though. Come on, man. You know if what happened Mike, to Mike Dan Tony too. If Mike Dan Tony would have had the niggas. That these debates, <laughs> it might have worked. This is the thing. This is the thing that's so crazy, right? Ben Simmons don't got no jumper, and I'm not trying to compare these niggas, so don't get me wrong. But Ben Simmons throws something different than Kobe did. Kobe had a jumper, right? Kobe had a jumper, and he still do the same shit Ben Simmons do. Ben Simmons don't have no jumper, but he's athletic as Kobe was at the time. At the time, though. That we talking about at the time. Like Kobe and Shaq, them two niggas, they was, you know what I'm saying? So Embiid and Ben Simmons or Giannis and others. If they on page, if they on point, for what I see these past like six games, if they on point, no matter if James is there or not. Any team in the East got a fighting chance to knock off the Nets. They're not unbeatable, and like I thought. As far as James Harden, don't take it. But they're going to score, though. See, the whole thing is about beating the Nets is they're going to score. They're not going to stop you from scoring. If you can stop them from scoring, if you can play better, if you can stop them from scoring more than they usually score, like maybe 10, 15 points lower, or what's it go? I'll repeat, the Nets ain't stopping nobody from scoring. So if, somebody the motherfucking, have... if the motherfucking Lakers, if the motherfucking Lakers get healthy, my nigga, if the Lakers get healthy, they are going to win it. If my nigga Brian Light, 85, 90% AD, and let's just get to AD real quick. Listen here, bro. I, I, I mean, AD, but see, this is the thing about AD. I'm going to keep it honest with you. The reason why we never really put him as the best nigga in the game at the time where we wanted to is because of what we're talking about. It's because of what's going on with him. He injury prone as fuck. He be, be been doing this. It's not no new shit. Like, like. The nigga DJ bring it up to me, but in my eyes, I feel like shit. If LeBron James and them niggas both on the floor at the same time, you can't do shit about it. You feel me type shit. If they on the same, if they on the floor at the same time and they both like 90 plus, you ain't doing shit about it. Who gonna do something about it? AD step back three, then he go to the rack. LeBron cross up, pass over to a to an open three-point shooter. And and the end of the day, these, like I said, I'm going to say it again before we, these others on the Lakers going to have to do something. Kuzma, you liked it, that nigga so much, man. They should have kept Ingram. Like, why they, come on, man. Like, that's fucked up. Like, this nigga Ingram been balling ever since that nigga left the Lakers. And this nigga Kuzma ain't been doing nothing but falling. Like, what the fuck? And, and we thought Kuzma was the nigga. You was talking heavy about Kuzma. You kind of got me on that nigga. And then I'm like, all right, Kuz, all right, fuck, we keep Kuz. We, but then it's like, bro, like, you got the blonde hair on IG, like posting pics, talk about photo bombs, 20 pics on your shit. Hey man, fall back, man. Get 20 points on the floor, man. Fuck 20 pics on your IG. That's this my thing, fault. You don't know when he's gonna hit 20. And that's that's my fault. You don't know when that, that it's it came to, it's to a point now where you don't know when that nigga go hit 15 to 20. You don't know. <laughs> that hey, shit look. is a problem. Hey, look, that nigga was balling out when I know his name. 
And I refuse to learn that though, nigga bro. name. You said about that. And I refuse yeah. to learn that nigga name. She was all about that nigga that year, or that year, the rookie of the year. Who was, who, I think that was Ben Simmons rookie year too, wasn't it? Uh. Who was number? No, 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 no. I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. He came out with Lonzo, right? Kuzma. Yeah. yeah. So that was the year when Markel Fultz was number one. I think so. Yeah, Markel so, Fultz was number one. Nigga. Either way it go, when I was just calling that nigga by his number, he was balling out. I he was like, he was like, I was like, no, I'm just gonna. I don't really need to know his name yet. I when I when I. That's what it Ever since they traded them niggas that got Anthony Davis, man, that nigga cools me, man. Boo, Trash. Boo, you don't know where that nigga go. You don't know where he go ball. That's the boo-boo part about it. It ain't like he still don't ball like he used to. You just don't know what is going to happen. So it's boo-boo. KCP been up and down this year. Like, this is the thing that's crazy to me. Like, niggas talk about this championship hangover shit in sports, whether it's NFL, NBA, and shit. Yeah. I think this shit hit a little different for these NBA players because they really it's been locked into this shit since they started back this shit. They only got off for like what, 71 days? That's what? Two months? Two months. Two and a half. Barely. You got like 30 months. You got like 30 days in every month. So if it's 71, that's like barely two months. That's like two months in a in a, week, a, and a half. A week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying, like. Like that shit's that shit's stupid. So it's like you could tell, like it's a lot of these injuries. I don't know how. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like this year is fishy. This they, year they, way they, fishy. They, they this year is way more fishier than last year. Last year is not as fishier as this shit right here. It's not. Donovan Mitchell injury. You don't know if he gonna play. You don't know what's going on with him. Yeah. And they like the top two seed in the West. I mean, but. Like this shit looks crazy. The Knicks is fourth in the East. What? The New York Knicks is fourth in the East. The New York Knicks don't give a fuck about nobody. They want to see the Nets. The New York Knicks? Yeah, they thirsty. This is crazy. They this is shit thirsty. get live again, low key. This shit get live again, low key. I just feel like at the end of the day, as long as nobody else join nobody else, you feel me? I don't know. It's gonna have to be a tandem at this point. As long as it ain't no more, as long as it ain't no more three motherfuckers on one team shit in the next five years, I'm decent. They need to stop doing this shit for real. This James Harden, Kyrie, and KD shit gonna fall flat on their face, and hopefully it does, so we can just stop this shit. Yes, we can if it do it. Stop, stop it. Yes, just finally stop, stop it. They need to flop like just finally stop it. Like, come on, them niggas only play seven games together. All season. So you mean to tell me a team that the three top players only play seven games together is just going to fucking win the championship? But they got Blake Griffin. You know what's going to happen if some shit like that were to happen, though? They got Blake Griffin. Who? <laughs> you talk about the you talk about the all-star for 09. You talk about the nigga <laughs> with a gun, gun contest of 09. Who, who was he in 2021? <laughs> Oh, Dottie was that nigga. <laughs> he catch, I seen, I seen him catch a couple oops. He didn't caught a couple oops. Twenty eleven, he was that nigga. He was that nigga. Twenty eleven, what he is? Twenty twenty one, though, is the question. But, 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 when he was that nigga, that nigga still gonna get to the finals. They ain't gonna get to the finals with the Clippers before. And you over here thinking the Clippers gonna get to the finals this year? And that nigga ain't been to the that nigga ain't been to the finals with the Clippers. He was with them niggas what, like seventy years? Like goddamn. You should know better, man. Don't be rolling with the Clippers, man. Leave them shits alone. Even though I feel like it was a point in time where last week, you know what I'm saying, like I just started really watching sports like last week and shit, and I was looking at the Clippers, and I'm like, man, this shit is good. You know what I'm saying? But then I started really looking at it again. I'm just like, man, <laughs> man, this shit, this shit clockwork, bro. This shit clockwork. Whoa. You say they talking but at about the end of the playoffs. day, I, I ain't, like I said, I ain't concerned, bro, because the reason why I'm so concerned about LeBron in this thing, in this case, is, man, I'm like, oh, what again? It's too close. Like, this shit too much. He dealing so with all this shit in year 18. So who is going to be? It's going to be the Clippers and the, uh, Clippers and, and, the, and the Knicks. 
There ain't gonna be no Clippers. Nothing, nigga. Lake show versus the Nets. You say anybody can Even though at the end of the day, even though at the end of the day, the dark horse to get to the finals will be the Sixers. Bucks ain't gonna do it though. Bucks, Bucks got a better support cast than they've probably had the past two years, but I just but it ain't enough. It's not I think enough. The Sixers got a better chance of doing it. But it's like the Nets ain't. I don't listen, man. Like the Nets for real, they just don't play no defense. It's not good. Like oh. no, bro. Like hell no. Like hell no, bro. It's too many of those teams in the play. They don't play no defense. Like the Sixers. And they you can't poo poo these teams though. Like the, six, the, the Knicks, Sixers. You know what I'm the Knicks. They ain't got a lot. Of, a lot of these teams, like the Knicks, the Hawks. The Hornets, the Hornets is really the only team out of the name that had mainly young players. The Hawks got a real a real mix. They have more veteran players than the niggas want to give them credit for. And the Sixers, too, they got a lot of veterans. A lot of them. They don't just have just rookies and shit. You feel me? So all this shit cool with all these niggas. And when James Harden comes, it's going to leave a different dynamic. It's going to make it unstoppable. But listen here. Me and you both know all three of these niggas can get the missing. Every, all three of them. Any one of them. And they all got to be hitting for them to win that bitch. Yeah, all of them got to hit. They all got to be hitting every time. But it's just like this my dad Tony shit. I just don't know about this shit. You feel me? Like the way they constructed this shit, the way this shit been going. All three of them niggas that miss hella games. All three of them. It's it's like the continuity ain't there to me. And then that shit there. I don't give a fuck if they friends and they chop it up all the time. Like, come on, man. Like this could this conventional basketball, like for what I'm used to seeing all my life. Like, guess what? Those Bulls teams that niggas be hyping all Jordan about this shit, them niggas had continuity. Them niggas was together, locked in. Every team that LeBron won the championship with was locked in. Every team that KD won the championship with was stepping on them niggas, them niggas was locked in. Like I, I can't, I can't just see some shit to where you just throw this together and they just win it all. Like I just don't see that happening. So them players, they did in the gym. But the injury bug is making this shit. But the injury bug in the NBA this year is making it so fishy. It's the injury bug. It's going all throughout the league. It's not just the Lakers. It's not just like the like Serge Ibaka is injured. He covered hey, up an injury. Hey, we talked about this before it started. You know what I'm saying? It's it's gonna be some people who that, that they don't get that rest, they don't get that that therapy and that treatment. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. My nigga gonna get his shit though. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Five, nigga. I'm still riding, nigga. I ain't, nigga. What? Hey. Man, what? You got me fucked up. My nigga came from nothing, nigga. These niggas wanna disrespect my nigga. He came from nothing, bro. Like, damn, I can see him. He had a rich family and shit. He always had it or something. Come on, man. Why do you think he held that shit so dear? That's the reason why it's like he held that shit more dear and shit. When niggas just giving him shit. Giving his mom shit. If he had just if he had got stayed here and got more rings here, he'd have been such an icon in basketball. They ain't set the teams up for him until the second time. And the second time around, after he won the ring, they stopped giving a fuck. Clearly. Clearly. The front yeah. office stopped giving a fuck after he won the ring. That yeah. is that is signs of a flawed front office with the Cavs. The Browns finally got it together. And the Indians are decent, but they just, like we said, they kind of like a, you know what I'm saying, like a, like a major league triple A team. Like they be getting niggas together to, to really get that bag and get the ring. Yeah. Shit. They get, get that the bag, go somewhere else. So, we'll, we'll, put you, we'll put you all the way yeah, together. Like, but still a decent, you know what I'm saying? They still a decent team. We still got decent players. They've been winning a couple games. You know, the um, baseball season started up probably like three weeks ago and shit. You know, it's just the teams. We, they it's looking just at the teams. Like, like, they ain't playing trash. Like, they ain't trash. They got it together. Like, they got it together. Just, like, the Cavs, for real, like, they was blessed. They was blessed, though. They still haven't got together in the front office. They was blessed. You hear me? We were blessed. They, you hear me? They never have it together like, before. Seriously. Office. 
There's no way in hell. There's no way in hell that a nigga like LeBron James gets drafted to Cleveland. He turns out to be LeBron James. Like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You know the type of motherfucking draft picks that the Cavs have picked up over the past 20 years, nigga? Come on, man. 20 years. That's like, that's like what? Like, that's like 2020. That's like 2020. Like, after Y2K and all that shit. Like, you know the type of niggas that they used to draft? <laughs> man, that front office flawed. They need to fix that shit. And then you got dad, and then you got the motherfucker, uh, what, what's my nigga, um, what's my nigga name, man? Damn, what's my boy name, though? Dave Griffin, over there with the Pelicans. <laughs> Let me just tell you this. Pelicans gonna fuck around and lose Zion Williamson. He gonna leave. Where he gonna go? At this point, it really don't matter, but... I'm just telling you right now, just, you know what I'm saying, foreshadowing. He might be with the Knicks. You never know. But he's leaving, though. I already see it. You already, already see it, it already. They're underachieving this year. Like, there's no way in hell that the Pelicans shouldn't be in this plan or even mentioned at this point. There's no way in hell. They're two out. They're like, there's only four games left. There are five games out. There's What the fuck are you talking about? Brandon Ingram was an all-star this year, as well as Zion. Are you fucking kidding me? No. No, hell no. After what I see from Zion last year, you got me fucked up. Yeah, he he he, he worked out. He worked out. He's supposed to be he's supposed to be, supposed to be in the playoffs, man. They supposed to be in the playoffs, man. Listen, man. They got some good players like um I think Jason Hayes or Jackson Hayes. It's a couple of players that's nice. Over there on the Pelicans, but Dan Van Gundy fuck around, get fired, and they gonna have to figure out who else the coaches go tap in that shit from them niggas, because there's no way that they shouldn't be that. It's no way in hell that we going into this shit next week. It's like next week, like next week after this week, next week we in the playoffs. There's no or yeah. play in shit. Yeah. There's no way that the Pelicans is not in that. Snow for the way. So, and, 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 come on, man. The Spurs got the Mar DeRozan and a list of young bulls, though. Listen here. It's young bulls on the Spurs, bro. They ain't no scrubs on the Spurs, but they ain't really, you feel me? They ain't really them niggas. Yeah, they ain't just ain't ready yet. Yeah, they ain't really ready, though, but but they got some niggas that's going to that's go, that's go shoot that. That's going, you know what I'm saying? The Spurs yeah. really got that shit. That's why the Spurs is still always going to be and the conversation don't matter what. Like, listen, listen here. We like at the end of the day, the Spurs missed the playoffs. What last season? Yeah. Right. Once. That was the first time. That was the first time they lost. That's the first time they missed the playoffs in like twenty something years, nigga. Twenty one years. That shit is crazy. That's like a testament to the front office and, and picking up the right players in the draft. That shit matters. Yeah. And making the right trades and all that. That matters. Them niggas, them niggas traded George Hill. Them niggas traded George Hill. Them niggas traded George Hill for Kawhi Leonard, nigga. Yes, they did. Good choice. Good choice. But I'm just saying, though. But I'm just saying, though. Cavs don't do shit like that. Cavs try to motherfucking trade the Judas Elgowskis and then sign them back because they know the team's going to release them. <laughs> like, come on, man. That shit's fucked up. And you want me to go to this rocket more this field house arena? You want me to go with this motherfucker? Spend money and shit. Have a good time. Thirteen dollars for a hot dog. Man, I don't shit. give a fuck. You gotta be fucked up. It, it, niggas put good product out there, nigga. I might pay that shit. You gotta be fucked up. Like, come on, man. Stop playing with me, man. Like we fans. Like, come on, stop playing with the fans. Stop fucking with us. You got all this shit going on in this city. We want to enjoy ourselves in our city and shit. We want teams to try to. At least act like they're trying to win some shit. But we had LeBron James. That was, that was entertaining. That was a blessing. And they and it was nothing blessing. to help that man. The first time they didn't, though. Second time they tried it until he got the they read. They tried. Once he got the read, they ain't give a fuck. It was a distraction. Distraction. 
It is what it is, though. It's a lot of distractions out here, man. But, <clears throat> but for real. And then Kyrie Irving. So Kyrie Irving didn't want to talk to the media after they lost back to back to the Bucks. Listen, they lost back to back to the Bucks. They lost four straight games. Going on five. They're probably going to lose in the next couple of games. Because KD about to start sitting, and then they're going to bring James Harden back probably like three games out, had James Harden playing by himself. Then they're going to have James Harden with Kyrie. Then they're going to have James Harden with all three in three games. Boom, 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 boom. That's what the type of shit Steve Nash and um, D'Antone do. They always lose doing that type of shit. Like, I ain't going to play like, that nigga Nash was a back-to-back MVP, but he lost badly both times he won MVP in the playoffs. He lost yes, he badly both times. At, both least the nigga times. Steph, at least the nigga Steph was unanimous MVP one year. Then he won the first year. He won the chip. And then next year, he lost in the championship game. He didn't lose in the second round. Conference final. I mean, he lost in the NBA finals. Like, come on, man. Like, yeah. I don't know. We're gonna see what's up with these nets and shit. Your clippers though, I guess they I guess they live at this point, but I mean play off P Hey man, shut that <laughs> shit up. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, hey, hey, but you are not gonna be fucked up. When you gonna be fucked up with that nigga get the ball and red that shit gonna be fucked up? I'm gonna be bad as fuck. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm gonna be sorry as fuck. I'll be like, man, hey, fuck that nigga, but with the why, but all them niggas, man, this old ass no. nigga, you know, he probably play off P now. My nigga injured, so you want to be playoff P, man? Shut the fuck up, man. Listen, he, P. It, 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 if playoff P show out, nigga, I will give him the same respect I get Kyle Lowry. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, man. So Kyle Lowry, Hall of Famer. He get mentioned. He'll get in eventually. So that you feel the same way about Paul George, right? If he, shit, if he get it, if we keep it together. So do you think that Paul George would be put in the Hall of Fame before Kyle Lowry? If he win, yeah. What? <laughs> if he win, yeah. But that nigga won too. What you mean that nigga won before that nigga? Paul George got a ring. No. Right. Kyle Lowry, dude. Right. So, so is Paul Kyle Lowry, so Kyle Lowry not gonna get put into the Hall of Fame before Paul George. I doubt it. That's fucked up. Kyle Lowry definitely should be in the Hall of Fame for Paul George. I mean, he should because he no. got a ring. No, but the shit, he been a baller, though. He been a baller. Paul like George. Kid. Paul George can ball the fuck out. I have seen him ball out. And then I have seen that nigga just melt into the background. Like, what the fuck? He is, all his shit be looking like bullshit. So, I, I don't. Give me some effort, nigga. Don't give me fuck it. I ain't hitting. Do something. I don't. I don't. That's Paul George disappear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't. I don't. Like, like, great players when they hot. Jr. is a great player when he hot. When he hot. How often he gonna get hot? I mean, he be getting hot though. But I'm just saying, like, he, I mean, he, I don't yeah, know. He, Paul, I mean, Paul George, Paul George, man. The, the, the whole thing is it ain't even about that nigga, but it's about that nigga, but it's about your nigga, man. Yo, nigga. If they no doubling nigga, that, man. listen, if they doubling that nigga three like that and they doing all that shit like that to him and he, he ain't breaking down, they still can win. I don't think he break it down, but I just think at the end of the day, right? And that's not, part of not, that's for he not he not as he like Kawhi Leonard is not a talented scorer as KD or LeBron. You don't always have to be a great scorer for your team to win. 
You just need to score when you need it. Again, again, you said that, but again, he is not a he is not a good score or talented score like LeBron or KD. Kawhi Leonard is not. So that's where you need Paul George because Paul George is like those two. He is not those two, but his game is like those two. His game is like those two. Similarities. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like. It's LeBron-like. It's KD-like. It's not KD or LeBron, but it's like. Because well, the reason it's not because he don't go that he he can go to mile marker. He he go to mile marker. He can go with you. He can hit for twenty five. But when you need him to give a little extra or a little more or a little something that you ain't seen him do before, he ain't giving you that. I ain't, I ain't seen it. Yeah. Man, I ain't seen it either, but I'm just telling you, like, at the end of the day, it's going to be playoff P and Kawhi. Playoff P and Kawhi. I want to see Paul George. I want to see this nigga just playing during the regular season. I want to see this nigga come to the playoffs. I, almost every player, with the exception of, like, him and James Harden, like, they, they playoff numbers be better. Good players who good during the regular season, they playoff season – Numbers get better. But these niggas' numbers don't. They numbers look worse than the regular season. Like, what the fuck? I mean, at the end of the day, I'll tell you this. It's been like that ever since the finals in 2012 for James Harden. Paul, Paul George, they had good numbers, but you just couldn't get key stops real against LeBron and D-Wade and shit. And now, like, against LeBron again, um, 2017 and Against Utah with OKC and against the Blazers with OKC, where Dame hit the game winner to seal the series on Paul George. Yeah. Two years prior to that, Paul George wanted the last shot against the Cavs, passed it off, and just said in an interview that he wanted the ball. No, you did not clear it. He saw it. Kicked it out, nigga. You did not want no parts of that. You did not want no parts of Brown. Because if Brown was see you with the ball, guess what? Brown is on your ass. What's up? You trying to win this game. He ain't want that pressure. So. He never going to want it. So that's what I'm saying, though. He never going to want it. But the Lakers are so compromised, it's just fishy. A lot of teams compromise. But I think – Teams are getting back more healthier than the Lakers are at this point. Lakers are going to be healthy to probably a game or two before the playoffs or play in or whatever. Dark horses, the Sixers. You say what? Dark horses, the Sixers. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Lakers, Nets, finals. Lakers, the six. Uh, Sixers is a dark horse. If the Sixers get in there, Lakers, the six again. Straight like that. So I'm, it's the Clippers and the Sixers. Lakers and the Sixers. Lake, Lake Clippers and the Sixers. We get five. Those niggas ain't gonna get. They ain't gonna get there. I'm telling you. Golden State and the Sixers. Golden State ain't gonna get the pass the damn play. They go. They could be Utah. They could get the pass and play. It's probably gonna be. If the Lakers in the play is, it's going to be the Warriors and the Lakers, 7 to 8. I'm just telling you that right now. If it ended up being the Lakers, if in this play, it ended up being the Lakers, Grizzlies, Spurs, Warriors, 7 8, going to be the Warriors. It's going to probably be 8, and the Lakers going to be 7. Warriors gonna play either the Jazz or the Suns, and the Lakers gonna play the other one. And both those series is live. Live. Warriors get the Suns. If the Warriors get the Suns in the first round, that's live. 
Yeah. If the Lakers get the Suns or Jazz, it's live. It don't matter which one they get. It really don't. They'll be they the first to... time we see this eighth seed be the one and two seed in the West. That'll be probably the first time we see it. That'll be. That'll make they them got... stick. That that's the fucking shit about it though. Like. I think the reason why LeBron, Luca, all them niggas is kind of like mad about it is because they know if they excel with that going on and they end up being like one of the first teams to come for the play in, win the first round and kind of fight for a conference championship or wherever the case may be, they're going to want to do that shit every year. Yeah, they're going to want to do that shit every year. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. That's why I understand the niggas complaining about it. Because you you gonna be locked into that shit. We'd have probably been on for like an hour and a half. Shit, probably. Yeah. Yeah, about an hour. Yeah, but like I'm telling niggas, yeah, like an hour, hour and a half. It's been like an hour and a half, like an hour now. You said. Yeah, about a, look, hour fifteen minutes. Hell yeah, cause I know you got shit going on and shit. I gotta go to the job in the morning and shit. I got shit going on in the morning. Niggas gotta jump on the grill and shit. Yeah, I got a cookout of shit. You, I got the holiday cookout for the Mother's Day. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be having me on this grill. And that's for all the mothers. Happy Mother's Day. This is my Mother's Day. And forward to all the ladies out there tomorrow, I'm going to be on the grill for all the ladies, all my aunts, and my grandmother. And so. You know, that's an all day process. I ain't gonna fake though. I don't know, man. Shit. I was about to say something, but I don't know. I ain't about to what, what's, what's that? No, okay. it, ain't, it ain't no serious shit, though. No. I was about to. I mean, shit, you on the grill and shit. I'm just like, shit, I shouldn't pull up with sugar in that motherfucker, man. What you mean, nigga? Just sugar plate shit. What you mean? Make that happen. <laughs> you know? Man, listen, I, I, I got uh j- just nine slabs of ribs in there right now, nigga. Nine slabs, nigga. <sighs> that nigga, that bitch like over pit. That's why all the motherfuckers on St. Clair don't know how to drive when you come around that bitch. <laughs> Man, I, the moment bit be lit, man. Motherfuckers be standing in that bitch there, this in the gas station to get the motherfucker open pit, bro. Like what? Yes, they do. That should be all the way. Niggas be in the gas station trying to go to open pit, nigga. Bro, listen here. Every time I come home from the crib and shit, it be like five thirty, five o'clock, and shit like that. Right there, that little spot be niggas. So those niggas got off work. Them niggas just got off work. All them niggas just got out of work. <laughs> Nigga, ride past that bitch about. Ride past that bitch about like 8 30, 9 o'clock. It's easy selling though. But I don't know. Mr. C's might be jumping though at the end of the day at that time. Right. Them the niggas who officially off work. We about to get something popping. They they about to find something to do. Yeah, that whole list. I don't know. Kawhi, you literally ain't about to get that shit this year, brother. This ain't about to happen. So you gonna get it all on James Harden? To be honest, in a sense, and hey, you want to know is it? You want to know why it's all on James Harden? KD is the best defender on the Nets. Probably maybe one of the only defenders on the Nets. True. So, with that being said, KD really can't give you 30 or 40. When at the end of the day, he got to anchor the defense. He can't do it. He can't do it. Like, come on, man. Like, this is what I Hold on. You said something. I'm confused. I'm confused. Hold on. I'm confused. I'm confused. You say that again when he do what? 
I said, I, I will repeat, I will say it again. Kevin Durant cannot hit 30 points a night. This is why he's not Jordan, right? This is why LeBron is not Jordan. Can you listen to me closely? This is why I like LeBron James. It's one of my favorite players. I fuck with LeBron. But niggas don't really understand that I know this basketball shit. You feel me? They don't get it. You feel me? When a nigga can score 30 and play defense on the other end like it's nothing, they're great. Larry Bird did it. Magic did it. LeBron tried to do it at times. KD tried to do it. Steph Curry tried to do it. Even though he don't play no defense, I don't even know why I said Steph Curry. But anyway, right? In this sense, he can't, right? Blake Griffin never was a good defender. Kyrie's not a good defender. Joe Harris is not a good defender. Jeff Green, motherfucking DeAndre Jordan, there's not a, a good defender on the Nets besides Kevin Durant. There's not. Name me one. There's not. There's not a player they on the Nets. They said they they that James Hart was playing defense. That's what I'm saying. Last year, so he about to do his little defense shit and try to, you know what I mean? Like, get buckets because it's like, shit, KD is really your main defender. I mean. Kyrie can be 40, but he can't stop nobody. <laughs> but he going to cook some niggas. I mean, how far is that going to go? With that Mac that Tony going, I mean, but see, that's the thing see, that, 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 see, that was the problem with the those Suns teams. You don't let a motherfucker cook that nigga have thirty, but they still lose about twenty. Come on, man! man. It was so many games where the motherfucking nigga fucking Stoudemire was going off on the Spurs. And then, get him out of here. So I, do, man. I don't believe in that net shit. As much as I did probably like three weeks ago. That was one of the first games I seen with all three of them niggas together. That shit look crazy. And I think all three of them niggas together on the floor is going to be crazy regardless. No matter how many times they played together because of the way they play. It's going to be crazy. They're going to get a lot of points. But they can't stop shit. They're not gonna stop shit. And so basically, you saying they, 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 the Thunder. This is a Mike. No, not the Thunder. They're any Mike D'Antoni team. They're a Mike D'Antoni team. It's it's a Nash team. Mike D'Antoni diagram, diagram, whatever. I mean, they don't play no defense at all, bro. Yeah, that's that's not gonna win nothing. Like none. Like the that's uh, slow motion. The Dallas Mavericks. Like, that's just slow motion. Like, I just don't like, bro. It ain't been a team that no, bro. No, and it, and nigga, you can't name me a team that was under. Top 15 in defense that won a championship in 30 years. But 20. Who was the Mavericks? You said who? The Mavericks. When? I was just thinking about the year before they won. Them years they was they when they was they was burning niggas. They just what they just when they hit the playoffs, they didn't have no defense. Let me tell you this. You want to know, you, were, you since you said that, they was up 2 0 in the Miami Heat in 06. What happened to them then? <laughs> when they was like that, no they defense, always, nothing. They was up 2 0 on the motherfucking Heat. What happened then? With Shaq. No defense. No defense. 
That shit ain't gonna win no championships, bro. And they don't got enough defense on the team to make me believe that the Nets is going to win the championship. I just don't. That shit gonna fall flat on the space, and I need it to, so they can stop doing the shit. They need to stop the shit. James Harden fucked around, got fat, did all this fake shit. This is get out of Houston. They go to the finals, and I'm supposed to respect that. Everybody want a trophy. I can't respect that. Everybody want a trophy. Yeah. It's so many motherfuckers that I don't watch in the NBA to put the work in. I can't, I can't accept that. Even though at the end of the day, he been wanting out of that shit. Now, now, I, listen. I, I want to talk to you about your dark horse. So, I expect Joel Embiid if he healthy, he gonna play all right. But what about Ben Simmons? This what I need him. This what I'll tell you. The others on the Sixers are legit. If, and not if, he healthy and B is going to open up everything. There's no team in the East that can deal with and B. Oh, shit. There's no team in the East that can deal with him. Even the Nets. You can't deal with that shit. Who are you going to put on and B? He's going cooking. It's not a player in the East that can contain Embiid. It's not like Embiid is not like how Giannis is. You feel me? You can't build a wall to Embiid. He's more of a jump shooter than Giannis. And he hits the jumpers on a higher, way higher clip than Giannis. It's not even a, a debate. Yeah. So that's the thing that's the that, that's why it's the dark horse because he could be fuck around be the MVP, might not be, might be Jokic, CP3, I don't fucking know. Niggas talk about CP3 because they number one in the West, but it's like my nigga, at the end of the day, it's not CP3. Why they one in the West is because they have all these injuries all through the West. The Jazz have injuries, the Clippers have injuries, the Lakers have yeah. injuries. Yeah. The Nuggets have injuries. What are you talking about? Yeah. Like, Jamal Murray is out for the rest of the year. That's so fucked up, too. Stock. It is fucked up, but I ain't put no stock. In who's the number one in the West? I, I ain't never put no stock in that. I just ain't put no stock in it. Come on, man. It's the playoffs. We, I know what go on in the playoffs. Come on, man. The, 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 the Jazz ain't the Jazz ain't ready, and the motherfucking Suns ain't ready, bro. They ain't ready, bro. So, 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 eight and about to get to a, it to a fucking finals, man. Stop playing with me. I would love to see. I would love to see um, Devin Booker in like a Western Conference Finals situation, just to but, see how he looks. Yeah. I don't see it. I mean, right now I don't either, but I would love to see it just to see what it looks. Well, he, how he hold up? Yeah, Devin Booker for sure, because a lot of people be sleeping on that that young guy. That young guy I mean, he gets buckets, but you know what I'm saying? That, that team not – he not ready because oh, – See, this is the whole thing that I feel like. So, what you saying that, so the regular season just don't matter at all? These two teams we talk about is like over – 20 games over 500. I mean, I'm saying regular season do mean something. If they can maintain whatever, you say, continuity that they had to, to, to get there, you know what I'm saying? It's when only the, a few teams that be having those records that do that. Right. When you, say that, thinking about the, when you say that, I was thinking about the 2015 Atlanta Hawks. That the Cavs, like, wait, legitimate sweat with, like, Kyrie, like, wait, trying to get back ready for the finals and shit. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. Them niggas won, right. like, six or seven games. Right. Then it just broke down fast. Yeah. Because if them niggas ain't built, them niggas ain't built. And that's just for everybody watching this shit. If you ain't built for this shit, just don't do it. Do something else. 
Ain't they don't know. They don't know they ain't built for this. My career last niggas. <laughs> These my career ass niggas. They whole life is in my career. <laughs> they want to buy the shoes, nigga. You ain't even. You ain't even. You just made the team, nigga. You played your first game. You want to go? I want to go design my shoes. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> he gonna design the shoes. What he got the game? Like four or five? Hell yeah, nigga. You, ain't, nigga. you ain't even got the shoe deal you yet. What you trying to do? You been saying through that nigga to pass that nigga. Man, get your my player career ass up out of here, nigga. I ain't even played five minutes and you want to spend your BC on jewelry. Fuck it, nigga. gotta be fly. Nigga, not the who. Not, nigga, not the who. I ain't gonna I'm, fake. I spent sixty dollars on the game, man. Guess what? I'm gonna be fresh on that motherfucker. I'm gonna get all that fresh shit. I spent sixty dollars on the game, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, now sixty dollars on the game. You can get some. You can get some fresh shit after you. Then won you a couple championships or whatever. That's how I feel about it. But if you want to spend some money on it, it's cool. Spend your VC. On, on getting you a, a nice piece of ice or whatever, cool. But uh, I'm only paying sixty dollars to get the game. I ain't spending no real money to buy no fake money to buy no fake shit on no fake. Game. The fuck, <laughs> these niggas be niggas be swiping. <laughs> Nigga, I'm not about to buy no same price jays. Nigga, these cost more on the game than they do in real life. Nigga, you got me fucked up. <laughs> Man, shit. I think we done, we done went over to the point at this point. This nigga talking about this. This is crazy, nigga. You know these niggas. Shout out to everybody, to everybody who did <laughs> chime in and shit. I'm definitely going to share this shit later on tonight, and I'm going to share it in the morning and shit. So y'all niggas can peep this shit, though. This is a good show, though. This is, this is some cool shit right here. This shit for this foot. And I'm gonna say goodbye to you, my career ass motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> and we gonna get back. <laughs> we ain't got no outro. We just cut this shit off. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs>